So I'll just get rid of all of it and just do something from scratch with C strings. I'm going to make a new character array called name and I'll give it a hundred elements so that I could potentially have a name up to a hundred characters big and I'll ask for your name, your name, see in name, see out, hello, name, and let's run that. Professor, hello professor, what if I typed in Professor V? Still says professor. It didn't include the V because CN will accept tokens that are separated by spaces. If I wanted to get that V in there, I would have to use an underscore or just put it in there without a space. So here, this is an array of characters and here, C out knows how to deal with an array of characters. It prints it out just fine. It knows where the end of this array is because every C string ends with a null terminator. A null terminator is an extra character that's added to the end of every single C string that identifies the very end. For example, this array right here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 elements big, but it has an extra 11th character at the very end, which is the null terminator. Let me show you char star ptr equals your name so I made a pointer that points at this array and I can treat this pointer as though it were this array because it is it is that array and I'm going to print out every individual element of that array for int i equals zero while well, i is less than how about twenty plus plus i c out PTRI and L. I'm going to do this as well. Int PTRI. And let's figure out which index this is as well while we're at it. I. Instead of your name, I'll do this. I'll grab name instead of this C string. Let's run that. Somebody. Hello, somebody. And here we have the output of this for loop. Element zero is S. S is the character at index i. So the ASCII value is here. O is element one. M is element two. E is element three. But down here, element 8, this is kind of strange. Notice there's a blank spot there. It's not a space. It looks like a space, but it's actually the null terminator. And the integer of the null terminator is 0. Then, after the 8th index, we have all of these weird negative 52 characters. These are buffer characters that C++ puts into every array that you allocate, or at least it does in debug mode. But my main point is that at element 8, there's this 0. This is the null terminator. And it's really easy to tell that it's 8 characters long because you just find the index where the null terminator exists. I can write some code that can find the length like this. int length equals 0 while name length does not equal null terminator. This is the escape sequence for the null terminator. I could also just put zero here or if I wanted to I could put false because false also evaluates to zero but I'm going to put the null terminator here to be extra specific and let's run this and see how this code looks What is your name? Billy Bob Jim. Hello, Billy Bob Jim. Billy Bob Jim is 11 characters long. Seems right to me. This is how it works with a array that we can modify. Automatically, CN will put the null terminator in for us. If we instead made name equal to a constant array, here is some constant text. 
Oh, actually it won't work because name is a static array. So we cannot reassign name. If name were a pointer, we could do that, but we can't do that. So I'm gonna do this, pointer, pointer, pointer. There, that'll be good. Let me run that. Hi. Here is some constant text is 26 characters long. That seems right to me. I, I don't want to count. I'm just going to trust the computer here. Here's some constant text. And it also ends with a null terminator. You have to remember, though, that even though constant character arrays seem to work the same way as a static array like this or as a dynamic array like this, and I need to have a delete for every new. Whenever you make new, you always want to have a delete somewhere in your code that will match it name. The static array and the dynamic array are similar, but this constant array cannot be used the same way. For example, I am not allowed to do cnptr. If I tried to execute this code, it will crash on me right here. Let me show you. I'm going to run this in debug mode. What is your name? Hi. Now it's waiting right here for this cn. I'll just type in hello here and here we go. Unhandled exception, access violation, writing location. You guys may get this error whenever you accidentally start trying to write into a constant array because these exist in a part of memory that the operating system will not let your program write to. And rather than write to, it will fail loudly for you that you know that you're not allowed to do this. Here it's breaking for us at this location. We can determine that this CN is the culprit by checking out the call stack. If you can't find the call stack, you can find it by going to debug windows call stack and that will bring it up. And here in main right there at line 20, we have this input operator and this is where it crashes. I'm just gonna stop debugging right now so that we can move on.